Hello, hello there and welcome back to Napalm's newest news and there it is, the long anticipated USS Alaska. As usual, you can find the link to the dev blog in the video description down below to read for yourself through the awesome details and also to admire the pictures because this is basically a miniature Iowa class and um, we'll talk about this in just a moment. So, uh, what we have here is basically a large cruiser, not a battle cruiser. Now, I know this is an endless discussion, and I want to, from the get go, point out that there are several videos from Drakinifel about the Alaska and what makes a battle cruiser a battle cruiser. In a nutshell, this ship has effectively the armor of a Baltimore or Pittsburgh um, and has, instead of 8 inch, 12 inch guns and the reason why that doesn't make a battle cruiser is because a battle cruiser depending on the definition would need to have the caliber of the guns of contemporary battleships which would be 14 or more likely 16 inch guns so it's a bit in between but there was a not so well known race going on between the Japanese and the US in making cruiser killers um, so basically miniature battleships so um, again this is highlighted in the uh, pros um, powerful 12 inch guns which should have the penetration performance of 14 inch guns from the um, standard class this was something that i picked up a long time ago how this actually will work out in the game we'll have to see obviously this is a fast ship we have a catapult aircraft which will be important to not let the game fade away and you can actually have an impact on the capture progress um so yet that you don't have to bail out and get into a patrol boat then you also have superb AA, and that is not an exaggeration. We'll come about, uh, to this in just a moment. So um, the thing is, those 12-inch guns have super heavy AP rounds, and they have AG rounds. There is no mention of SAP rounds, and that means that this is somewhere in the performance between the Kronstadt's and the Scharnhorst's guns. But again nothing is highlighted about the reload and that is what can break it if those are 12 inch guns with a 30 second reload just like on the wyoming and the north dakota this won't be interesting at all if it goes to the 20 second reload of the kronstadt or even the 17 seconds of the Scharnhorst, then we're talking then we're talking because then you keep the um, damage con rolling you know with uh, the penalty and such of your opponent and um, how good those OP rounds are from the penetration combined with the uh, explosive charge that has to be seen but I doubt that the AG will come anywhere close to the performance of the Kronstadt's rounds that sounds a bit more like a Scharnhorst gun and that is not too impressive when it comes to the AG or the SAP rounds good let's continue and the next thing is obviously the AA. Now there are six twin 5 inch, I guess 38 mounts, and they are obviously fantastic. They will have most likely proximity fuse rounds, and every aircraft knows that this is an absolute no fly zone if you do them manually. And they are arranged in such a way that you have an 8 gun broadside, which is fantastic to also not just supplement your anti aircraft capabilities of the 56 40mm Bofors and the 34 20mm Erlikens. That is absolutely fantastic. That indeed gives you um, as much or even a higher anti aircraft capability as of the Baltimore class, Baltimore and Pittsburgh. And that would be fantastic now the thing is here that the armor is relatively thin the armor belt is only 229 millimeters thick and uh, the turret faces are much stronger with 325 that is in the region of uh, actual battleships of world war one era now this is important because we don't know how well protected the bulkhead is and i guess since the u.s dropped the all or uh, the distributed armor scheme early on even in world war one i guess uh, this will be an all or nothing armor scheme on the arizona i don't really think it's working properly 
but on the Kronstadt, it gives the ship an absolutely insane tankiness and that also depends not just on the bulkhead but also on the deck plating here and if that will be absolutely fantastic then you can angle the ship and have survivability in the region of the Congo or the uh, before mentioned Kronstadt or in the Scharnhorst if you angle it properly again you will not be vulnerable to the big gun guys such as the Russian 12 inch guns, the British 13.5 and 15 inches or the 14 inches found from the Arizona and also the Japanese battleships, battlecruisers, whatever. So there it is. Um, one hint here is that the AA protection isn't all that great. So you can absolutely splash a lot of the AA emplacements with HE and therefore reduce the crew count rather cr uh, rather quickly, just like on the Arizona, without actually breaching the Citadel. Now, I think that this ship has the potential to be either an absolute great addition for the US, it's definitely long anticipated and good looking, but it really depends on how it will perform versus cruisers, other battle cruisers and battleships. Um, so there it is. Again, link in the video description down below to the dev blog. That's it for me today. I hope you found this rather quick information video helpful. Again, I want to point out there are a lot of really interesting and well-made videos from Drakini file and share this video. Give it a like with it. Subscribe if you want to see more. For you, it's just a few clicks. For me, it means the world. And as usual, we will see each other on the battlefields in the skies and on the waves of War Thunder.